Hello everyone, Tubberpaw here, and I bet you've all been wondering where I've been all this time. Well, I'm in college. That should be enough said. Uh, I haven't really been able to work on the scripts for either of my episodes 3 and thank you video. And no, it has nothing to do with me playing video games all the time. Yes, it does. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I'm at the dorms right now, and just... chilling out. Uh, but I have actually been coming up with a few ideas for both of the videos. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get them done sometime. Uh, I'm mostly trying to just get myself in relaxed enough and used to school life again before I start working on that again, otherwise I just start messing myself up all over. So, until that happens, uh, enjoy this commentary and anything else I put out that may not be a uh, abridged video. <laughs> okay, well, let's get this commentary started then. Last time on Patrick Okay, Armas, so. Series, Link at the ferry start out with the intro and again, as Ocean. usual. Who are you? Then <laughs> There's Ocean's. The Ocean the and all his line. oldness. By the gods, I am so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, this is the episode where well, anyways, I actually introduce Linebeck's character as the narcissistical douchebag that he is. Yes, this does seem to be an actual treasure map. And now it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> A little speed effect there. And once again the intro! Yay, I love this intro. <laughs> but yeah, um, Linebeck is... Uh, just the douchiest character you can ever imagine. <laughs> But you know, he's kind of, he's kind of like that in the game, he thinks really highly of himself and just acts like a jerk to a lot of people, so I thought, you know, that would be funny as an actual character trait for him. Well, so I decided to up. give it to him. It's short stuff. I am not in agreement! And there's <laughs> All head banging. I don't know. There's a little mention about what's going on in the vi actual well, video, you asked, it's who am I to somewhat funny I guess. <laughs> oh, please. I am Linebeck, man blessed with looks of a god. He's Linebeck, but he's not Linebeck the Third because the Linebeck the Third's not born yet. Alzheimer's is another name for dementia. Ah, dementia, such a wonderful state of mind. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my real pharmacist. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's a. Oh. Don't insult me. <laughs> Frenchman <laughs> replica. Seriously, he looks like he's French. I don't know why, but I I think French when I look at him. Who mentioned anything about But hey, he thinks of himself highly, and he's a douche. So that fits, I guess, <laughs> in the stereotypical way. The longer I have to put up with this idiot, the more I will continue to annoy and irritate you. Ah, Ciela. And constantly reminding you of events you are. I don't know. I, d I decided to make you her an absolute Actually, bitch, yes, but, um. Of such an art. <laughs> you sure you oh, are yes. This jo this joke of uh, referencing back to Navi, because on, really, Seal is just a copy of Navi. Yeah. That's I one of the reasons I hate her so wait, much. She's just a copy of Navi. She's not even a, an actual character. I mean, Tattle was more of an actual character than Seal is. It's. Uh, disgusting. Never mind. It's absolutely disgusting. Oh, now they're leaving for the island, and now they're showing up at the island in an instant later. And we're gonna be informed well, that they've I actually been doing this for a while. To the island. Yeah, it was brilliant when you got lazy and gave Link the position of helmsman and navigator. <laughs> Link had no idea where he was going. Where am I? What am I doing? Who the hell are you? Holy crap! Froggies! Um. <laughs> It's the hypno toad. No, I don't have to put up with this. Oh, well, it's going to be in a later a joke later because in a later I'm episode. So yeah. damn pretty. There's the first l l time we see that. Cuz I'm so damn pretty. That'll become a constant catchphrase for him because I like catchphrases. Why are things that haven't been explained suddenly being mentioned? Like the writer was too lazy to actually work it into a conversation. Seriously, I was too lazy when l writing this what? this episode. It was just too lazy. That and it was hard for me. I had no idea what to do with any of these, so I'm just like, you know, I'm just gonna try to speed along here to just to get to the important parts because I have no idea what what to do with this. 
That's part it, of the thing I don't like about Phantom dungeon. Hourglass. It's I'll be not right as awesome back. as Wind Waker was. Skipping dungeons. Oh, yeah, skipping, skipping the dungeons. dungeon. <laughs> I'll show you what happens when you skip my dungeons, you stupid shit. Oh, now wait a second, Link. There's no There's need to get There's Link coming ah! in and breaking my legs. <laughs> Uh, jokes of physical abuse are always awesome. <laughs> oh, and yes, I did make that image there. I actually drew it out on paper first, scanned it into the computer, and then used coloring to color it out. Turned out pretty well, actually. And yes, that is a Link plushie that Tetra Good has. Good news, everyone. <laughs> We won't be skipping the awesome. dungeon or the boss, and Topperpaw will at least try to put in good jokes now. <laughs> yes, I'm going Even to try. If he can't use his fingers. <laughs> you are one psychotic bastard. I just broke my fingers. My name's Ostrid, fortune teller extraordinaire. And who might you be? Yeah, that's not a reference to Venture Brothers wait, or anything. <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> Such a stupid series, but so hilarious. Link. Wow, uh, nice. yeah, the fake fortune teller oh, bit. Just shut up. <laughs> okay. Say, could you see what we have to do next? Sure, just a second. Now let's begin the sexual Come innuendos. To me, powers. Come uh. with your fury. Come with your love. Yeah, do I even have to explain this? Burning black, undeniable force. Uh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it is. But what's so funny about burnt toast popping out of a toaster? <laughs> then just misinterpreting it. Uh, well, awesome. Burnt toast. Uh. Yeah, I relied a little too much on profanity, on uh, verbal profanity in this series. So, Not my best simple. idea. Now, how do you expect Topper Pod to make it enjoyable for the viewers? I don't know. I don't. Do I just do a montage, which is one of the least enjoyable things. Uh, that lame ass. I mean, it's a good idea, but is there any no, song isn't. that's fire-related <laughs> that hasn't been used by other abridgers already? Probably not, but Topperpa is commented on his originality, and to yes, my that, originality find and something that the originality died in this series. Or is used by almost no one. I mean, it's still somewhat original, is but such a song like that? not that much. I don't know. I think you'll let the viewers decide. Fair enough. But what's he going to do? This. Enjoy. Now, as for this song, I just found it on YouTube one day, and I decided to use it. <laughs> That's all the history there is to this. Just shows that no matter what you're doing, you, if, if you're just looking randomly on YouTube, you're eventually going to find something that you can use as a joke or as a extra thing here. And plus it's original, I mean, everyone else has already done pretty much everything else, so... It's somewhat good. And the key thing matched up there, too. Well, I never noticed that. It's more original than anything else you could have probably picked. Yep. Now, let's go face the boss. Okay. Much better than Ring of Fire. <laughs> That's what been the? done to hell. What's up with the music? My yeah. music. Um, was kind I to give hated it to doing me. this. Is this going to be a reoccurring theme? Yes, there will be a song whenever there is an epic moment or boss fight from now on. Yes and well, no. <laughs> when I asked Topperpa to work harder on the episode, I didn't realize he'd actually go this far. <laughs> Just I didn't. what a few blows to the brain can do for some people. <laughs> now, if it only worked on you. Silence! I shall now commence with the thorough burning of your bodies in uh, attire. I really did not like the attire is the clothes, singing right? I did with that. Yes. Oh, here comes and the, the burn socks joke. Yay! Socks, Overused, right? overdone. I don't uh, want to yeah, do it ever yes. again. But I don't see what just this like has the postman joke. Ah! 
Oh look, Tetra's sleeping again. <laughs> what the hell? He turned to sand. <laughs> he turned oh, well, to sand. Sure it has nothing to do with the plot in the early future. I am the spirit of power leaf. Well, what do you know? Now you have two of us. <laughs> the whore. Still don't know, actually. <laughs> wow. We broke the fourth wall a lot in this episode. Wait. You mean there's actually a wall there? <laughs> I thought it was a myth. Uh. Well, there you go, people. That was episode three. Not my favorite, but still... Nah, okay. Well, anyways, I will try to work on those videos so I can get them out to you as soon as possible. Uh, that's all I've got to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you have a good August. <laughs> have a good rest of the month, or whatever. Go to your fairs, or whatever you have at this time of the year. See you guys later. Bye.